Hello you guys, we are in 1959 candidates and the legendary matchup is between Mikhail Tal and 15 years old Bobby Fischer. This game clearly shows how a psychology plays a key role in a chess game. Here Mikhail Tal took a bishop here, but if you look at the position, white is just having a one pawn for a piece here. But the black king is too much exposed and it will not be an easy task to save the game here. And here is the most fun part of the game here. Here Bobby Fischer has wrote rook to e1 which is actually the strongest move recommended by an engine and only move which can save you the game here. But unlike today's chess where you have to play the move after you write it, previously you can just write the move consider it then you play it. Mikhail Tal saw that Bobby Fischer has wrote rook to e1 and he was a bit worried. But instead of giving a negative reaction he just gave a smile to a Fischer and then goes to Tigger Petrosin and having a laugh with him. 15 years old Bobby Fischer was seeing all these things and just fall into the trickery of the Mikhail Tal smile and just cut out the move rook to e1 and just play the blunder, queen to c6 check. We will discuss queen to c6 check but before that let's discuss about rook a to e1. Rook a e1 is actually a draw after perfect play but after a perfect play. If you play rook x e1 you are losing after queen takes f7, king d8 and rook takes rook. Now you have to cover the square on e8 checkmate so you have to give up uh, all the material here and you are losing everything. Now if you play rook to g7 to cover the f7 square you are just getting checkmated after queen to c6 check, king d8 force and just rook to d1. Either you can get checkmated on move 1 after just playing rook to d7 or just give up the queen and then get checkmated. You have to deal with queen takes f7 so there is no queen move here and there is no bishop move here. As the rook is pinned so here you have to play the engine move which is to play king to d8. Now here white has to be a little bit careful here like if you just play rook to d1 check this is just no good after king to c7 because king is now having a safer square here and his pieces are going to be activated. Now best for white is to play rook takes e7, bishop takes e7 and not taking the pawn here because it will lose the game here then play queen to d5 check here. And now if you just block with the queen here this is no good after just queen to a8 check picking up the rook here. So here you have to play bishop to d6 here and rook to f6 attacking the bishop rook to g6 defending it and now we have rook takes f7 then queen to b5 trying to exchange the queen here but queen to a8 check bishop back to b8 and now we have a repetition with rook to f8 check king to c7 rook to f7 check king to d8, rook to f8 check and the game will be drawn. Now let's get back to the original position here. So after queen to c6 check this is no good because black pieces are going to be activated here. So here he can actually play rook to d7 here because now rook to a e1 check is actually met by a bishop to e7 here. Now Bobby Fischer was completely outplayed by Mikhail Tal here. As the video was about the psychology in chess so I will give you all the moves in the description below so you can analyze the game by yourself here. So if you like the video do like and subscribe the channel to stay tuned for the more updates.